Most people in Wise County and the city of Norton know you as an attorney. Tell us about your experience and your education in the field of law enforcement and why you think you are the better choice to be the next sheriff for Wise County and the city of Norton. Uh, I appreciate that question. Uh, in fact, uh, my experience uh, in the field of law enforcement and the criminal justice system is something that I believe that sets me apart from the other candidates. Uh, first of all, I, I graduated uh, from T.C. Williams School of Law uh, in uh, 1982. And uh, thereafter, I came back and practiced law here. And almost immediately, uh, within just a few years, I was fortunate enough to seek the position as the prosecuting attorney for Wise County in the city of Norton. I did that for, for eight years and I was also the city prosecutor uh, for Norton for almost 20 years. So my, my experience in the field of the criminal justice system began early on in my career. I've been mean, practicing law now if you, you add up the number of years for close to 40 years of, of practicing. Almost entirely during that period of time I've had some involvement in the criminal justice system. Uh, I'm certainly required to keep myself abreast of all the most recent developments in the criminal justice system, including the enactment of new laws, uh, the decisions that come down from our various courts of appeal. And I, I get that information almost in, instantaneously. So that, that type of information that I get very quickly uh, puts me in a much more advantageous position than the other candidates. Uh, typically right now uh, what happens is once a year or 12 months the officers of the sheriff's office will have uh, a meeting where they're updated uh, annually. That will be significantly different if I'm the sheriff. We're going to be updated almost uh, instantaneously with new laws uh, and new decisions from the court so that we'll be, act, be able to act appropriately. In terms of my uh, involvement uh, in, in some specific things, one of the things that I recognized almost immediately when I took office as the prosecutor for the county in the city of Norton was that we were uh, inundated with a, a, a drug problem in, in the 1980s. And that particular drug problem was the influx of cocaine that came out of South America uh, with uh, ports of entry in Florida. So we were having large sources of cocaine brought into to Southwest Virginia by uh, sophisticated drug conspiracies out of South, uh, South Florida, particularly in Miami area. Uh, <clears throat> I met with uh, agents of the Virginia State Police, the Sheriff's offices in their region, and uh, pitched the idea that if we were going to be effective in, the, in dealing with that particular drug epidemic, that we needed to a cooperative effort in a regional way. And uh, I was able to persuade them, and I don't think it took a lot of persuasion, uh, they were on board from the get-go. So with the state police uh, willing us to be the coordinator, we uh, formed, uh, with my assistance uh, and others, it wasn't just a, a Tim McAfee uh, venture, but it was a venture of, of a, a lot of people. But uh, I was instrumental in getting a regional narcotics task force formed in 1988 to deal specifically with these drug conspiracies that brought uh, these dangerous drugs into our region. That drug task force that was formed in 1988 is still the drug task force that operates in Southwest Virginia. It has expanded greatly uh, since then as a result of the effective efforts that uh, it began and was initiated in 1988. One of the hallmarks of our accomplishment was that we took down about a 30 to 35 member drug conspiracy that stretched from Columbia, South, South uh, Florida, uh, through the, the various jurisdictions all the way to Southwest Virginia. All those individuals that were involved in that were prosecuted. Uh, most of them pled, pled guilty. We had a couple of trials that resulted in uh, uh, verdicts of guilty. And that was the kind of thing that, that we needed to do in order to uh, deal with that issue, and that was go to the source of the problem. The, uh, recently, uh, I recognized that I could be more involved in the community by assisting law enforcement as uh, a sworn officer. So approximately 10 years ago, I took four months off from my law practice uh, and I attended the Law Enforcement Academy for our region. Graduated from that academy about 10 years ago. I served as an auxiliary officer both for the Sheriff's Office uh, and the City of Norton. I was an auxiliary officer that was primarily involved in uh, drug, uh, excuse me, in, uh, 
drug impaired drivers and alcohol impaired drivers for the city of Norton. And for the last uh, two and a half years, I've been a sworn officer for the town of Pound, where my primary duties have been dealing with criminal investigations, dealing with narcotics, uh, specifically uh, crystal meth and uh, the, the powdered methamphetamine that uh, is sort of made by pseudoephedrine that, that is able to uh, be purchased at local stores. And we've been extremely effective there in the town, town of Pound. So the, the, my practical experience dealing with uh, narcotics investigation, both as an investigator and as a prosecutor, uh, makes my skill set significantly different from the other candidates. And it, it's significantly different in a better way. I'm the only candidate that has the ability, the knowledge, and the skill set to handle the problem with crystal methamphetamine. And, uh, Maybe we'll get a chance later on uh, this week to, to go specifically about that question. Thank you for asking that question, though.